In this video, I'd like to talk about the concept of an inverse. We reverse many processes in life by simply moving through the steps backwards. For example, if we put on a sock, we can reverse that by removing the sock. If we put on a shoe, we can reverse it by removing the shoe. If we tie the shoe, we can reverse it by untying the shoe. If we add five, we can reverse it by subtracting five. And if we multiply by three, we can reverse that by dividing by three. Even if the steps become complicated, we know intuitively how to reverse a process. For example, if the process F says, put on a sock, put on a shoe, tie the shoe, we've input our bare foot and output a dressed foot. If we want to reverse that, then we're going to input a dressed foot and output a bare foot. So if I start with a dressed foot, the first thing I'm going to do is untie the shoe, then take off the shoe, then take off the sock. And so we've gone through each step of the process exactly backwards. We can write inverse mathematical functions by reversing the function process in exactly the same way. For f of x equals 2x plus 3, f is saying multiply by 2, then add 3. To reverse that, we would first undo the add 3. So we would first subtract 3. Then we would undo multiply by 2. So we would divide by 2. Now if we are putting in some value y, the first thing we're going to do is subtract 3 from that y. The next thing we're going to do is divide that whole part by 2. So f inverse of y, and that's written f with a superscript negative 1, left parentheses y, right parentheses, is given by the function in a fraction, in the numerator, y minus 3, and in the denominator, 2. Let's say g of x starts with a fraction with x minus 5 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator. Right now g says take some value x and first subtract 5, then divide by 3. To reverse that, we first undo the division by 3. The inverse, g negative 1, which is written g with a superscript negative 1, says first multiply by 3, and then we need to undo subtract 5, so then we add 5. Now g negative 1 of y, or g inverse of y, would be written as y times 3, because we're multiplying by 3 first, then adding 5, so 3y plus 5 h of x equals 4 times left parentheses, x minus 3, right parentheses. Right now, h is saying subtract 3, then multiply by 4. To undo that, we first undo the multiplication by 4, so we divide by 4. Then we undo subtract 3, which means we add 3. h inverse of y, which is written h superscript negative 1, left paren, y, right paren would be what we're doing to y. We start by dividing y by 4, that's y over 4, and then off to the side, plus 3, outside of the fraction. To recap, the concept of an inverse is simply to go through the steps exactly backwards of the way you created the process.